Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeballer here as always coming at you guys with the next MPA battle today on our week 5 MPA battle We are going against Bradioactive and the Iowa Haluchas guys Today I'm going to be going with Music 7 as always and we've me and my assistant coach Tabes who of course oop, you, you guys didn't hear that Shh, you didn't hear that my assistant coach Tabes who will always be linked in the description below crafted a pretty nice team to counter Brady we think uh, so we'll see how it goes uh, I just want to warn you guys, there might be a little bit of background noise here and there. My family's going on some huge cleaning spree. We're packing, going on vacation. I'm recording way in advance. Yada, 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 yada. But we're going to go ahead and battle start. And uh, I'm going to get ready to take a picture of his team. But first off, we'll go over my team. We got Mega Metagen, of course. We got Galvantula, which Sticky Webs destroys him. Uh, his Blast Loose can get rid of them, but other than that, we have Cray Dilly. We have Don Fan. We have Bisharp, of course. The. The leader in kills of the NPA and Magmortar lastly so let me go ahead pick our team our battle box and uh, what's Brady bringing is he if he has Espeon I'm gonna be happy and also afraid okay so he does have Espeon all right so my best lead for this is going to definitely be Donphan <sighs> turn one I can either set up like you know rocks or whatever or I can go straight up for a knockoff now He's probably going to lead with possibly his, uh, po probably his Registeel, I guess. So yeah, Don Fan's our best lead for sure. So we'll do that, yeah. I'm scared. Did I get the picture of his team? Hopefully I have time to take it again, just in case. Yep, there we go. Cool. I'm really nervous like always, guys, but, uh, you know, hopefully my, just, my goal is this just to be a good battle for you guys. Hopefully it will turn out good. That's what I want more than anything. So here we go, guys. Here we go. I am afraid Brady, I know, is a pretty good battler. I know he prepared a lot for this battle. We are 3-0. and Can we stay and go 4-0? and Let's find out. All right, Brady. What you got for me, buddy? All right. Will Lucky, will Lucky Music number 7 come through this week? Let's find out. So our Don Fan lead is going to come off, and he's going to be leading with Claire. Claire is Espeon. All right. Great lead for us. We can go ahead and knock off here and uh, basically knock off on whatever he wants to bring in. Yeah. That's actually awesome for us, really. Now, he didn't bring Levani, so he can't set up webs himself, which is really nice. Levani was pretty scary. Uh, he also has Machamp, which is cool. He's going to go for Grass Knot. Can we live that? We can live that. We can live that. Critical hit. That's nice. Way to live it. All right, so Don Fan's basically dead already, which really sucks. Um, but luckily for us, we take this down to... Was that a Sash, or did that just not kill? Hold on, what? Alright, whatever. Um, oh, that kind of sucks, actually. Are we going to have to suck? Okay, I guess we can... Oh, that sucks. sucks it sucks that crit mattered a lot actually because that's our spinner I mean we don't really need our spinner uh, actually looking on it the only thing he has to set up rocks is his Registeel which I'm not too afraid of all right I guess I don't want to lose confident though now he's kind of useless really all right I guess I'll just knock off again and see what happens in power man that sucks Probably hitting power fire. We live it! No way! Dude, that's guaranteed sticky webs now. That is guaranteed sticky webs now. Yo. He made that mistake. That was a bad that was a bad prediction right there. We get basically have guaranteed sticky webs now. Which can potentially win us the game. We'll be able to outspeed everything on his team. Oh god, this is gonna be good. Mm, this is gonna be good. So Raikou is probably his scarf Pokemon, I guess. Will he go into Raikou here? Ooh, that 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 messed him up. I don't think he was expecting that. I think he was definitely expecting that to kill. I do have a lot of special defense into this Don Fan, uh, just because the set that me and Tabes decided to make. So that ended up going really well. That worked out nicely. Um, I guess he overpredicted it a little bit. Happens to the best of us. It does. Um, happen to benefit us this time around so what's he gonna go into now 
That's free sticky webs. Ooh, that's so good. Free sticky webs, baby. Now, he can set up rocks, but then if it's my Reg his Registeel versus my Galvantula, I'm not too afraid. Because I can easily just... I can outspeed it and still get the webs. Which means a lot to the team. High jump kick can Oko everything on his team that he brought. It couldn't... I don't believe it could Oko Leveny. It might have been able to, I don't remember. Uh, it couldn't Oko Volcarona. He did not bring Volcarona, though. Luckily for us... So high jump kick does run through. He's going to go into Trident, which is going to be the Blastoise. Alright. Alright, hello Blastoise. Um, so he's obviously Mega Blastoise. We know that. Uh, some weird predictions might go down here. Um, I'm just going to Earthquake. I know we're dead. That's alright. Yeah, that's alright. So his Blastoise can still get rid of, um, uh, he's running Scald Blastoise, okay. His Blastoise can still get rid of webs, but, you know, we are an electric type. So I'm thinking right now we still go, uh, Cradily can actually, do we want to get the webs up now? Because we know Cradily can counter his Blastoise really easily with, you know, Storm Drain, Storm Drain and whatnot. I think I'm going to do that. I don't want to risk him, like, getting, I like, we might as well get the webs up later rather than, you know, him possibly rapid spinning them away and making some sort of weird prediction. Alright, sorry about that. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and Giga Drain here. Or we could Stealth Rock. Um, we could get Rocks up. That might be the play. How much do rocks really hurt his team? Not too much. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I was interrupted by someone. Uh, no big deal, though. We'll go ahead and we'll get off rocks. He's gonna go for the Aura Sphere. Mm, I should have drink. Now we have rocks up, I guess, so that's good. <sighs> Alright, that was a misplay. I'm sorry, I was really rushed during that play because I was completely distracted. That was my fault. I messed up there. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll probably lost Cradily now. Yeah, okay, I messed up there, that's my fault. Um, I can go into Galvantula now and just set up webs, I guess, why not? Uh, I guess he can rapid spin if he wants to. <sighs> but yeah, I'll do that. Sticky webs and then thunder. I was pretty sure he would switch with the Blastoise there. That sucks. Uh, if you guys didn't hear, I, I cut it out. I'm going to cut it out, but someone came into my room looking for something. And uh, unfortunately, that <sighs> got me a bit distracted. I mean, he can stay in and rapid spin here, but, you know, I can just set them up like, again. doesn't do anything to me. Hoping to see him switch. Because once we have webs up, we kind of... It's kind of, like, good from there. Like, Medicham can bring in a lot of work. So we'll see how it goes. We're getting our sticky webs off. What's he going to do? Rapid spin? Scald. Okay. Now we can eat that, don't even need the Sash, no burn, luckily for us. So now we can Thunder, and that should do a good amount of damage, right?
Will it be enough to KO though? I don't know, I guess we'll see. Does he have Rapid Spin? That's another thing. Um, but Thunder does connect, luckily for us. And not quite enough to take him out, but does a ton. He's gonna go for the Skull. There we go! So at this point, we're in a really good position. Because now we can go into Mega Metacham. And kinda clean house, really. Um, Hoopa's also scary. Should I go into Mega Metacham or should I go into Bisharp? Feeling Bisharp. I'll go into Metacham. No, I'll go into Bisharp. So, we can easily just knock off, or actually, I guess, Sword Stance here. I mean, Sucker, not Sword Stance, dear lord. Uh, we can just Sucker Punch here. Even if he switches out, then it's whatever. But this is where Bisharp starts putting in work. We can now outspeed, actually, everything now that he has the Sticky Web. So, Sucker Punch is going to go off. That should be enough to take out the Blastoise Faux Show. And it is. There we go. Now Bisharp's Reign of Terror comes through. So that's good. Now Registeel is kind of a threat. So is Machamp, actually. Machamp is scary, dude. Machamp is really scary. That would be his best play right now to go into Machamp. Can go to Baymax. Alright, see, okay. This we can handle with knockoff and uh, things like that. Sticky web, obviously, and the rock damage, which is good. Doesn't really mean too much against this thing, but I can easily just knock him off and see how much that does. Should do a good amount of damage, right? I could, you know, I should have set up a sword stance there, really. He's gonna go super power, dude. No way. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll go into Magmordor now. We're all vested, so... I don't know if that means anything, but... Fire Blast should do a ton of damage... Right now. I know... Ugh, we lost Bisharp. This is such a weird battle. Fire Blast connects, that's awesome right there. That should be enough to take him out for sure. There we go. Okay, we're in a better position now. I'm happier again. I was pretty scared for a second. But I feel more comfortable again, luckily. Which is good. Oh, God. Now, what's he going to go into now? Could go into his... I mean, we are self vested, so we can eat his special attacks that he wants to throw. Pretty well. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable now. So, he has, what, Hoopa... Machamp and Raikou left. We still have Mega Metacham, which can no code. All of that. And just one hit. Um, bearing a high jump kick doesn't miss, which would probably cost us the game. So what's he gonna go into? Uh, we do have rocks up, which is I guess a little helpful. I have a feeling this is gonna, this match is gonna heavily rely on Raikou. I mean, not Raikou, I'm sorry. Heavily uh, rely on Metacham to finish it off here. Which is just really scary. Uh, Hoopa is Ghost Psychic, right? Yes. He's gonna go into Cena. Okay, that's what I thought he was gonna go into, which is gonna be this thing. Now, this thing's scary for sure. And I can't make any switch, because he could have, you know, some sort of hard hitting move. Uh, his speed is going to fall, which is great for us. And I'm just going to launch another Fire Blast. It's the best thing I can do. Possibly hope for a burn. It's not going to miss. Karma, high jump kick is scary. Um, that's going to do a good amount of damage. And he's going to go for the Earthquake. I don't think we're going to be able to live that. Um, but what is good now is that Medcham can come in and do his little sweepy thing. I'm not going to make any bad plays. I'm not going to... I'm not going to like do some terrible high jump kick... Um, I, I have Psycho Cut, and there, I guess I can just fake out here if he wants to switch. No, I'll just, I'll just Psycho Cut, yeah. That's the best thing to do. Because he might predict the switch, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why the, okay, I'm going to do something real quick. You guys are going to see it. I'm just going to lower the back buffer size, sorry. Stops the audio glitching. It's really annoying.
All right, Brady. I'm nervous, guys. I'm in a pretty bad position here. Let's see if Metacham can be the comeback king. I don't know. All right, so we're going to Mega Evolve here. Bullet Punch, yeah. It's not going to do anything. We're good. Psycho Cut, bam. Enough to take him out. Okay. If he goes into Raikou, I'm going to be legitimately terrified. So, okay, wait. What type is Hoopa? I need to look up what type Hoopa is. I don't know why I always forget this. I need to know what type Hoopa is. I know it's Ghost something. Okay, it's Ghost Psychic. That's what I thought. Anyways, back to the team. Okay, so in comes this Raikou. Should be able to outspeed now. And I'm gonna high jump kick. Thank god for sticky webs. That helped a ton. Pressure is whatever. We need to not miss the high jump kick here. Yes, it connects! It connects. But who I don't know if I don't know if we'll be able to do this. It probably can live a bullet punch. Alright, I guess it all comes down to this, really. Um, obviously, Psycho Cut is resisted. Yeah. We have the bullet puncher. That's not enough. That's going to be the game, guys. So, unfortunately, Brady was able to take us off our win streak. We're now 3-1. and one. Uh, But that was a good battle. You know, I made a few bad plays here. The play with the... Uh... Ugh, the play with the uh, that one dude really mattered. The Cray Dilly. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, that's my fault. Uh, it was a good battle. I hope you guys all enjoyed you know, we should still be in, you know, we're still in it, guys. It's not over yet. We're just 3-1. That's still a really good record, really positive record. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to hit up Brady with his links in the description. Have a nice day, guys. And as always, let the outro roll.